Lucia Aronica is from Naples, but studies molecular biology in Vienna, and while there she entered and won FameLab Austria in 2009. Now, now, in just three minutes, Lucia is going to attempt to span 125 years. That's over 40 years a minute, because what she's going to talk about is very of the here and now, but it also relates to a classic work of literature which was first published exactly 125 years ago. So, with our own update on the strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, and it is Jekyll, not Jekyll, Robert Louis Stevenson's on record as saying so, please welcome Lucia Aronica. So, our genes control everything. They decide how we look like, whether we get ill or not, and possibly even our daily horoscope. Well, if you also believe that, the following experiment may surprise you. Here I have a purple flower. The pigment of this flower is the product of a gene. We can call it the purple gene. Now, let's say I want to make this flower more purple to better match my dress tonight. <laughs> Perhaps I could then smuggle additional copies of the purple gene into the flower. It will surely become more purple, won't it? In fact, add more purple genes and the flower turns completely white. This experiment may have killed my perfect hair cell tonight, but at the end of the 90s, it paved the way for the discovery of the so-called RNA interference, a discovery awarded in uh, 2006 with the Nobel Prize. RNA interference, or RNA for short, is a natural mechanism of gene regulation in plants, animals, and humans. RNA is a mysterious molecule with two phases, just like in the case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Dr. Jekyll is a so-called messenger RNA, or mRNA. He delivers the message of a gene, for example, instructions to turn the flower purple. <laughs> so what happened in our experiment? With too many copies of the purple gene in the flower, Dr. Jekyll became hyperactive and Mr. Hyde sprang into action. Mr. Hyde is a so-called microRNA, a shorter microRNA molecule which interferes with Dr. Jekyll. In other ways, it is frozen. The result, the purple gene gets shut down and the flower turns completely white. So to sum up, RNAi is a sort of switch for our genes. And this switch is regulated by microRNAs. Therefore, the genes are only blueprints. And we are all just robots controlled by microRNAs. Moreover, it is possible to use this powerful molecule as a switch for genes that make us ill, such as those responsible for cancer, diabetes, AIDS, and more. Several RNA treatments are already now in clinical trials, and the results may bring about a flowering of medicine for the future. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Chia Arnica, the witch queen of new genes. And if anyone gets that obscure musical reference, come and see me afterwards.